Hello, this is CJ Hoyle. Today is Sunday, October the 10th, 2021. And I'm coming to you today from the intersection, or which I just crossed back behind there, of Victoria Street and Henry Street in the town of Whitby, one of the eastern suburbs of the city of Toronto. In this video, I'm gonna be giving a narrated tour of the western portion of the Whitby Waterfront Trail, starting from here and heading all the way to the town of Ajax. I made a previous video where I rode the eastern portion of the Waterfront Trail and I actually am picking up right where I left off in that one. And I'm gonna continue heading in the west direction towards Toronto. Straight ahead here, we're heading towards the Whitby Harbor which is home to the Whitby Marina, which has quite a few boats docked in it. You can see them over here on the left. So this portion of the waterfront trail curves around that harbor. And the Whitby Waterfront Trail is pretty well continuous from the border of Oshawa, where I started that previous video, all the way out to the town of Ajax, where we're heading to. This park that we're passing over here on the right is called Victoria Park. And the town of Whitby is actually the suburb where I grew up. So I'm familiar with this landscape, in fact, Victoria Park, where these soccer fields are, was where I played a lot of soccer games when I was growing up as a kid. So we're working our way around that harbor and now we're curving and heading around to the west direction again. I'm gonna grab a quick drink of water here. That concrete building that you can see straight ahead there, kind of over to our right a little bit, that's the Whitby Hospital, which is not a full service hospital. In fact, they don't even call it the Whitby Hospital anymore. I believe it's called Lake Ridge Health Whitby. I believe it was originally built as its own standalone hospital, but in more recent years, and probably for most of my lifetime at least, it's just been the different hospitals in the region are all sort of grouped together and managed together, and they sort of have different hospitals that specialize in different things. The main hospital that serves this area is the one in Oshawa which used to be called the Oshawa General Hospital, which is Lake Ridge Health, Oshawa. And speaking of hospitals, the area we're heading towards now is where there is a psychiatric hospital. And the current psychiatric hospital that's here is, was built within the last 30 or 40 years or so, but there was a much older one that was here before there. And for quite a long time, they still had the old historic buildings from it. They were still standing, although they were kind of abandoned. Those have all been torn down and there's quite a lot of housing development that's taking place down here. So we'll just, head our way inside this park here. They've got the gates closed, but I'm pretty sure that's to keep vehicles from driving along here. I'm sure this park is still open. And I should mention, this is part of the waterfront trail. Like, it follows along the water, but there is actually a multi-use trail that follows along Victoria Street. which is that street that was going east-west right where we started. So if you wanted to get 
you know, head in the west direction from Henry Street, you could actually just ride along that. And it's, you know, still a nice trail to ride on. It's more direct, but maybe not quite the same scenery that you get riding right along next to the lake like this. So maybe in the future sometime I'll make a video riding along Victoria Street in Whitby here. But I figured for the waterfront trail I would take the extended version. I apologize for the, the wind. It is actually quite a windy day today, although it's quite comfortable in terms of temperature. I'm pretty sure it's above 20 degrees Celsius today. Even though it's the 10th of October, mid-October, when you're sort of more accustomed to this being the sort of weather where you'd be wearing pants and sweaters, but I'm actually today riding with my regular summer shorts and a short sleeve breathable t-shirt, which is much appreciated, much welcomed. So that building you can see over there on the right, that is the psychiatric hospital. This video is being filmed on the Sunday of the Thanksgiving weekend here in Canada. In Canada, we celebrate our Thanksgiving earlier than they do in the country to the south of us. And that's because our because it gets colder here earlier. I guess the harvest of all the crops happens earlier as well. And we'll just keep heading over this way. Not sure where that trail over to the left goes, but I'm pretty sure it's a dead end. It's actually been a while since I've come this way. Like I was mentioning, there is that shortcut along Victoria Street. And in more recent years, I've used the waterfront trail for traveling from Toronto to Whitby. So using it actually for transportation as opposed to recreation. So. When I'm doing that, usually I'm preferring to take the more direct route, so I end up going along Victoria Street along instead of coming along here, but this is a really nice place to come riding. It's actually not very busy today, which is kind of surprising because other portions of the waterfront trail seemed busier earlier today. So yeah, here you can see some of those houses that have been built down here, the, near, down here near the waterfront. When I was growing up, I'm pretty sure none of this land was developed. It might have been farmer's fields, but quite a few subdivisions were put in here in the last 20 years or so. I'm sure it's a nice place to live, being pretty close to the lake. Although it would be windier than other parts of Whitby because it's, when you're down near the lake, it is always windier and a little bit colder, it seems like. But it's nice that when they were developing this land, they reserved this little strip here on the, at the far south end of it to allow the trail to be able to pass through. Generally speaking, the waterfront trail to the east of Toronto is quite a nice place to come and ride because it is really quite continuous. I believe on the west side of Toronto, once you sort of get into Mississauga and Oakville and Burlington, although they've got signs and things that are marked as part of the waterfront trail, I think a lot of it is actually on the roads. So it's not really a, it's a route more than it is a, a trail. It's not a recreational trail like this, or there will be sections of it, but it will be sort of 
broken up by little connectors that go along fairly busy arterial roads. Although I actually haven't ridden my bike all the way to Burlington in the other direction. So I can't speak from personal experience, but that's what I've seen when looking at the map. It's certainly something that I would like to do sometime in the future. So given that we're in mid-October as we're riding along, don't forget to enjoy the colorful leaves on the trees that we get here in autumn or fall. There was a squirrel that just ran up across our path. Yeah, this portion of the trail is surprisingly quiet. So is this neighborhood. Not a lot of people out doing things in their yards. I guess maybe a lot of people have gone out of town for the weekend, I'm not sure. So once we get out of this neighborhood, we're gonna be riding across a marsh Up ahead here we rejoin with Victoria Street with that multi-use path I was describing earlier that follows along the side of the road. So if we had come that way it may have cut off uh, probably at least a kilometer or so. And up ahead we're going to be riding through a, a marsh the marsh where the Lind Creek here in Whitby flows to the south. And for many years, this was probably one of the worst parts of the waterfront trail because there really wasn't a trail. It was just a road and it was quite a narrow road. I think it just used to be just only two la or one lane in either direction. But they've widened this bridge and they've widened the road and now it's a great place to come riding. So directly below us on this bridge is the Lind Creek, which flows through the town of Whitby down here and eventually after it gets to this marsh, it's in Lake Ontario. I remember coming canoeing in that marsh when I was a kid when I was in scouts. It was a evening scouting event. It was a lot of fun. So yeah, this improvement to this section of the waterfront trail was probably completed about five years ago or so. Maybe even less than that. Hello. And I guess this area is part of a conservation area called the Lynn Shores. And the waterfront trail, I guess the multi-use trail along Victoria Street continues straight ahead here, but there's also a, a trail that goes through the conservation area here that I'm gonna follow. So we'll take this. We've got a little bit of a bridge to go over top of here.
Thank you. So we're riding through a little bit of a forest here. Further up ahead we'll have a, a big field to ride through. Seem to be more people out enjoying this part of the trail today. I guess that other portion of the waterfront trail near the psychiatric hospital is more used by locals, I think, because there isn't really a big parking lot that I can think of that people would drive down and park at to be able to walk around. So maybe that's ex that explains why it was less busy than other areas. Having a parking lot is a pretty important thing for a suburban community like Whitby where for most people, going out and doing something involves getting in their car and driving somewhere. So here's that portion of the trail where I mentioned that I'm riding through a, a big field here. It's very common when riding through here to see deer in this field, particularly over to my left, sort of in the back corner over that way. Can't see any right now, but even if I did, they would be so far away that you wouldn't be able to see them on camera, but how about I include a photo that I took on one of my other journeys riding through here. Another time in the year. So up ahead we've got a portion where there actually is no waterfront trail. It's just a signed route along a roadway, which is really just a very quiet country roadway. This field that's over to our left, I believe it used to be a, a farmer's field. They grew crops here, but as far as I know, it's now a municipal piece of land and the city doesn't grow any crops, it's just being used for conservation. Potentially they might plant things on it or I imagine they probably wouldn't plant trees. They probably want to have some areas as plains as well as forested areas. Cause that's how this land was before it was all transformed into farmland way back when. So here's where the, la where the trail comes out onto the road and we'll turn the left direction and head further south. And the trail picks up again a little bit further down and there's one little more section of it and then we'll be in Ajax. Most of the videos that I usually film are in the city of Toronto, which is where I now live, but it's fun every now and again when I'm heading somewhere outside of Toronto to make a video riding my bike while I'm there. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about riding other places. And if you've ever ridden on the Whitby Waterfront Trail before. The videos that I've been posting recently 
I've been staggering my videos between posting videos from my solo canoeing adventure on the Rideau Canal and bike riding videos similar to this. The thing is, I, I have a lot of hobbies, so the content that appears on this YouTube channel, CJ Hoyle, it tends to vary as my hobbies change over time. And But I try to keep a variety of things on there so that things don't get stale either. So up ahead there you can see a bunch of cars parked, which I guess is, I'm not sure whether there's an actual proper parking lot there. I guess there probably is a little bit of a parking lot at the end of this road that people use for accessing the trail here. But on a busier weekend, you might also see, for example, in the middle of the summer or maybe in the beginning of spring when it starts to get, you know, really nice outside, you might see cars actually parked along the road here for people wanting to access these trails. I should mention this road that we're riding on is called Hall's Road. It's a north-south old country road which runs most of the way through Whitby although there are a number of interruptions along the way for it. So here we are back on the trail for our last little section. Hulls Road is the last north-south street of Whitby before you get to Lake Ridge Road, which is the border between Whitby and Ajax. So we've got just one more sort of block or concession to ride through. Although I've got a bit of a hill here, which is slowing me down a bit. I remember riding my bike here before this was paved. It was just a gravel trail for a number of years. And actually it was kind of a loop. There's over to the right of here, there's a, another trail that branches off that way. And that part is still gravel. And straight ahead there, you get a beautiful view of Lake Ontario. As you can see, it's kind of windy. You can see a couple of little white caps out on the lake. And the wind seems to mostly be coming from the south today, which makes it a windy day at the waterfront. <laughs> When you've got a big, wide lake like Lake Ontario, when you've got a south wind coming all the way across here, it gets, you know, unimpeded by any trees or anything for that whole width of the lake. The wind's pretty strong when it hits the shore, and of course the waves are pretty big as well. This would not be a good day to be out in a paddle craft like a canoe or a kayak. But anyways, up ahead here is the entrance into this trail from Lake Ridge Road. So that, what that means is we've now reached the border between Whitby and Ajax. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed joining me on this narrated tour today. If you watched all the way to the end of this video, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.